We are all in the gutter. But some of us are looking at the stars. Oscar Wilde. Human beings have been exploring the universe for a long time, trying to prove whether we are the one and only in the void. Or are we just a dust in the universe? To find the answer, humans utilized their wisdom and invented spaceships, traversing to the depths of the universe. In 1977, United States launched Voyager 1. Its speed could reach to 61,452 kilometers an hour. Given the travel distance Y, travel time X, and travel speed, we can express the relationship between travel distance and time as Y equals 61,452 X. This equation is in the form of Y equals KX, where K is a non-zero constant. This is proportional function, and k is the constant of proportionality. Let's take a look at this example. We're going to freeze a Coke, which is 0 degrees Celsius at the moment. We make the temperature decreases by 2 degrees Celsius every minute. So, how does the Coke's temperature y change with time x? Apparently, y equals negative 2 times x. Is this proportional function? Usually, function that meets the following two conditions is proportional function. First, k is not equal to zero. Second, the degree of x is one. Let's take a closer look at y equals negative 2x. Even though this function has a negative constant k, this function also belongs to the proportional function category. So. What effect does the sine of k have on the function? Let's take a look at the graphs of proportional function. We can directly find out the effect of k on function. As k is a non-zero constant, the graph of y equals kx is a straight line, which passes through the origin. When k is positive, the line y equals kx passes through the first and third quadrants and rises from left to right. That means y increases as x increases. If k is negative, the line y equals kx passes through the second and fourth quadrants and declines from left to right. That means y decreases as x increases. As we all know, any two distinct points in a plane determine a line. We usually only use the origin, 0, 0, and point, 1, k, to graph the function. We can also obtain the function expression from any point other than the origin. Have proportional function questions? Come and find an expert to help you on Gorth Math. Homework Solver, step by step. See you on Gorth Math.